This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. It's six months now since we started doing these. We're closing in on 150 daily video updates. Years ago, um, during Peace Corps training, my cohort and I were handed um, a chart uh, to, to prepare us for our two-year um, service in Peace Corps. And, and the chart, um, as, as best I can remember, looked something like this. This is the emotional state of Peace Corps volunteers across the time of their service. And Peace Corps Lesotho had, uh, over time, noticed that there were distinct emotional states as volunteers adjusted to living in profoundly different circumstances than they were used to. The initial confusion of arriving and starting training gets easier as you adjust to novel circumstances, peaking a month or two after arriving at your assigned site. And then, almost like clockwork, most volunteers in Lesotho crashed around six months. Because six months was the point where two things happened almost simultaneously. Volunteers realized that all they had learned in training, all the new skills, new language, the novelty of washing clothes by hand, all were just the surface of what was needed to successfully navigate this very, very different context. And secondly, in Peace Corps Lesotho at least, six months was about when volunteers started to realize just how long two years is. Because it's novel, the first couple times you walk up and down a hill to fill 20-gallon water pails, and the 150th time you do it, it is grueling. It was uncanny how much this graph that we were handed at the start of training tracked with the reality of two years of service. Most of us tacked it to our walls to be like, oh, we're feeling good these days. Uh, yep, that's about right. Oh, we're, we're in trouble right now. Oh, no, that's, that's what we were told to expect. Because the six-month crash was real. And then, when walking to fill up 20-gallon jugs of water was still grueling, a year in, at that point it was a way of life rather than a thing to be resented. This is an update about Peace Corps, but it's also not exactly about the Peace Corps. Because I don't think it's an accident that a lot of us are feeling on edge right now. And that's where we'll pick up tomorrow.